They've said everything. Uh, actually, I guess you can call me the 13th one. You can these and Sister Dees raised me. Samuel Joe said he was easy to know who he was. He was the shortest and the only one with hair. <laughs> Bishop, De <laughs> Bishop Dees and I were friends. And, um, and Elder, I wanted to know where did you get the word coop from? I wanted to hear what a few of us know that. <laughs> that that's what, uh, I don't know. Well, they came from the Hyatt place. <laughs> I mean, he was a little boy. I remember one time he said, if anybody called me Coop again, I'm not going to answer. I got in the car and started up the little pathway and stopped real quick and jumped out and opened the door and jumped out and said, hey, Coop. He said, yes, sir. <laughs> He always, he always been serious. Yeah. Uh, and, and even the night we heard him come and talk about the Holy Ghost, uh, Ernest and I, we all were baptized at the same time. Amen. Uh, if my memory serves me correctly, I believe I'm right, when he started preaching, 1960. Uh, I went in the pulpit one week. No, he went in the pulpit one week. I went in the next week. He had to preach my sermon because I fell out. <laughs> but the night we received the Holy Ghost, they were saying that Ernest, Bishop Ernest, uh, was too young. He didn't know what he was doing. But Ernest insisted on, I want to be baptized. He insisted. So, but the night, it, evidently God accepted it because the night the rest of us received the Holy Ghost, Ernest was there too. Bishop Dees was preaching. He wasn't preaching yet, but he's in the middle of the floor with the mouth wide open. And he grabbed my sister and me, grabbed me in one arm and my sister in the other, and picked up both of us. <laughs> Monk, Monk was telling my mother that the Holy Ghost got on him so strong at the house one day the whole house shook and this other thing he's been he's been real he's been a friend and uh out of all of these years uh bishop Dees, i'm still honored to call you friend Happy 
miraculously delivered out of the jail. Yeah. And he walked through the big gate and he said, now I know. <laughs> well, it was at that moment I said, now I know. <laughs> Finally understand why he kept running down the mothers at the house right next door. <laughs> One thing I wanted to bring up. The other thing I wanted to say is we, we are a large family, as you can tell. And in many families, you've got people that aren't speaking to each other, people acting crazy with family. But that is not our family's case. And you might think that. An 80-year-old brother and a 57-year-old brother in a few months, Lord willing, be 58 years old. Uh, they would not have that much in common or wouldn't, you know, be that close. But I, I want to say he, he is my older brother, but I also consider him a friend. Uh, when I got ready to get married, he gave me and my wife some marital encouragement and advice as well. And I appreciated, personally, I appreciated how he treated my wife to be. And in front of her, told me to make sure I take care of her. And he, and he said it again. Yeah, he told me to buy her a car. <laughs> and I bought her a car. <laughs> Because I found out that there's wisdom in those who have gone where you are hidden. And I thank him, uh, and not only him, but the people don't know this, but now he and his wife and me and my wife, we, we, we're pretty good friends. Yeah. And, 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 and that's saying a lot. Like I said, it's a pretty, pretty, good, pretty good age gap. But we always love to be in that company. And it, it is, it's just a joy to be able to share with, with, with family in, in that way. And so I just want to say, Bishop Dees, we love you. My wife is here. She's the one with these hand. She's my better looking half. We love you. And uh, we, we just want to say happy birthday. And may the Lord bless you with many, many more. Thank you. Thank you. And my middle name is Lewis. Marion Lewis Dees. And he named and he's been knowing me since I was, before I was born. And I won't tell you my age, but well, I'll be 58, no, 57. Yeah, 57. <laughs> my birthday. So I've been knowing him since I was five years old. And he gave me a nickname, Chubby. So as, <laughs> but all it was Chubby growing up, and that's my nickname. So every time when I got older, he was asking me like, do you still want me to call you Chubby? <laughs> I was like, go ahead. <laughs> I said, you still call me Chubby. And then he's the same person I ever seen as the same. And, and I always loved my brother-in-law and talked to him about, okay, how you doing? Same old thing. How the baseball team is doing? <laughs> when we talk about, when you're just easy to talk to, so I just thank God for. And um, I guess that's all I want to say. I just thank God for being here. Because one time I thought that I couldn't be here going today, but I thank God for being here for one more day.